There is this notion of ret- in the from in Asian certain Asian cultures have talked about retaining chi by instead of allowing semen to leave the body during orgasm. If you want to maintain, you want to keep your your uh, testicles cool. There's a reason why the scrotum moves. Yeah, 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 because you keep the uh, chelation. There's an increase in the hormone prolactin, which makes you very mellow, and that sets the refractory period. And during that time, you're not getting another erection. You're not having. Sex. You know about the retrograde ejaculation thing, right? No. Well, this is crazy. So the um, and I have a story that you have to be careful with this, uh, not to get too wild with this. So there is this thing about um, there's a lot on the internet about semen retention and chi, right? Yeah. And after orgasm, in, here we're talking about males and females, but for in males after ejaculation, there's an increase in the hormone prolactin, which makes you very mellow, and that sets the refractory period. And during that time, you're not getting another erection. You're not having sex again. Mm-hmm. This is why drugs that increase dopamine sometimes are are kind of pro-sexual drugs. Mm-hmm. But if people take too much of them, then they're just like all gas pedal, but they're not relaxed enough to actually get an erection. Mm-hmm. Right? This is the cocaine thing. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, sex is a dance between arousal and relaxation. Right. Tantra, under, excuse me, understands that, and they try and bring people into a kind of a mellow plane where they are controlling all that, that rise and fall of, of arousal mm-hmm. over and over again. That's the idea. So there is this notion of, ret- in the, from in Asian, certain Asian cultures have talked about retaining chi by instead of allowing semen to leave the body during orgasm, they there's a practice of pulling it back in by inhaling and, and clamping essentially the muscles around the prostate. So I have a friend who got really into experimenting with this. His wife um, it happened to be in the kind of Qigong community, uh, was really inter- in, you know, into Qigong, and he did this, but he developed terrible prostitis. So you have to be really careful. Mm-hmm. But he was walking around feeling like he had twice as much energy as he ever did before. So right before he's about to bust, he sucks it back in. Yeah, and again, you can mess yourself up with this, you know? Like, That's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy. That seems um, like the worst idea. It seems like, yeah, exactly. Uh, for some people, it's going to be the worst idea. For other people, you know, uh, you know, I'm not pr- I'm not promoting this, but there is this notion of retrograde ejaculation. Do okay. you ever let it out? Do I personally? No, yes. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you, like, when you, when you retrograde, do you ever actually ejaculate? They do. They recommend they do it, like, a, you know, like once a week or something like that. I mean, the, yeah. Um, a lot, as long as we're on this topic, if you do want to get your partner pregnant, um, stay out of hot tubs and saunas in the 60 days preceding that. Um, oh, 60 days 60. sperms. But you can put an ice pack between your legs. If you want to maintain, you want to keep your your uh, testicles cool. There's a reason why the scrotum moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you keep the uh, sperm Hot certain temperature. Hot saunas. Yeah, sixty days before trying to conceive. Yeah, and it's not a good form of birth control either, because I think plenty of people have been conceived in hot tubs and saunas. Yeah. Um, I don't know the exact number, but let's assume. 